Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure for me to address a message to this conference on retail payments organized by the European Central Bank and the National Bank of Belgium. Unfortunately, I cannot be with you in person. We have already made important progress in the area of payments. For example, last year the European Parliament and the Council agreed on the Commission proposal to make cross-border payments in Euro cheaper across the entire EU. The new rules will apply as of next month. And work on payments will continue to be an important priority in the agenda of the next European Commission. Digitalization is transforming this sector, which is fast becoming a data-driven business. This makes it urgent for the EU to develop cheaper and quicker payments across all its territory. In fact, uh, projects like Libra are a wake-up call for all of us. They show that clearly there is a gap in the offer for cheap, fast and convenient payments. This is what we should be working on because this is what Europeans expect from policymakers. Instant payments are a powerful way to achieve this. They will transform the entire payments sector. Our objective should be to create an innovative, integrated and competitive retail payments uh, sector across uh, the EU to compete with the global companies in this area. Time is of essence here and we need to move fast. Today, even the strongest European operate, uh, operators offer solutions that essentially only work within individual member states. Uh, but they have to team up with larger international op uh, operators that are not European if they want to offer pan-European payments. I want to change this. I believe that the way forward is to create pan-European instant payments systems or perhaps a single system. There are various milestones to pass before we get to that point. And there should be a roadmap with deadlines to complete each step. Our ambition is to roll out instant payments in the EU by the end of 2021. That may seem a challenging deadline, but our international competitors will not wait. By that time, everyone in the EU, people and companies, should be able to carry out domestic and cross-border instant payment transactions in all payment situations. There is a lot of work to do to prepare the ground. To start with, EU banks must become fully available for providing and receiving instant payments across the EU. Domestically, many are so already, but not necessarily between countries. And that really matters. Uh, we have asked the European Payments Council to address this issue by the end of 2020. Then, all Europeans should be able to use the same instant payments mechanism, like a mobile app that they use at home wherever they are in the EU. That is, uh, that is not the case today. No pan-European system yet exists, which is why inter interoperability is so important. Ultimately, of course, it will be for the market to decide. Consumers, companies and retailers will only switch to the new system if it provides more convenience as now. And whatever comes next cannot be more expensive. We are looking at all solutions, especially the several initiatives taken by industry over the past months. I also welcome that the ECB and other central banks are looking at the potential of central bank digital currency and are engaging with European payment actors to bring about faster, more efficient and cheaper payments. Payments are also becoming more strategic and critical for European economic sovereignty. Increasing the global use of euro for payments will further strengthen the international role of the euro. I wish you a useful and productive conference. Thank you.